Good morning, it's 8.30 right now, June 12th, it's a Wednesday, sunny morning, and I'm about to go get my LASIK uh, SPK surgery. So hopefully it's gonna go well, recovery time, they say it's around five to seven days, but hopefully, hopefully it's closer to the five day mark for me. Um, and we'll keep you updated right after the surgery, hopefully. Here we are, Clarity Laser Vision, one of the highest rated places in Calgary. Alright, so as you can see, I'm done with the surgery now, and uh, it's crazy. So once they're done, you stand up. Uh, off the operating table and they tell you to open your eyes you can actually uh, see quite far like you've got pretty good vision it is like a little bit blurry because um, they've got like drops in your eyes and whatnot and you got this like shield on so I'm just gonna put my sunglasses on for now this is uh, kind of bright for my eyes but uh, I'll walk you through like what happens from the time you get in so um, uh, my appointment was for 845 um, that's when I went in to the reception um, and then by the time I got out, it was around 10.30. Um, so yeah, but uh, when you get in, um, you know, the reception will take you in, they'll ask for your payments, um, go to a seating room, and then they'll bring you into uh, another, uh, like the surgery waiting room. Uh, from there, the nurse will like take your blood pressure, your, uh, I think it's like your O2, and then, um, yeah, and then the nurse will also go over like the instructions, get you to sign some waivers so like instruction about like the eye drops you gotta take afterwards um answer any questions you have and then sign your waivers um what else and then you wear like a hairnet some booties for for your shoes and you also got uh get some uh like a like an apron or whatever for you uh and yeah you wait a little bit uh, and then afterwards you go into like a room where you meet the doctor. The doctor will take a final look, final look at your eyes just to check that uh, your prescription and stuff didn't change. So your typical like which one's better, one or two, that kind of thing um, and shine the light. Um, and then yeah, and then right after that, he brings you into the operating room. And so there's two tables and there's a few nurses around. Um, and the first table is where they will create the flap. So um, this process, they will first like flood your eyes with some like steroid drops, like antifreeze or anti numbing thing. And um, yeah, they'll put some tape on your eyes and they've got this like ring that will keep your eyes open. And, uh, and then yeah, afterwards you put like the device like on top of your eye, imagine like a, like a suction cup like on top of your eye and hold it down um, and you do that for each eye and then each eye takes around what I don't know a minute to two minutes um, and that's that's to create the flaps and he said that it was like supposedly the most like um, discomforting part of the of the place of the uh, procedure um, and so like imagine if you have like goggles like typical swimming goggles and you wear them and you like press it hard in your eye that's kind of what it feels like um, and then you do get a little bit lightheaded at least that's what I felt like um, as he goes through like both eyes so it was like pretty quick maybe like five minutes um, and then he'll get you to stand up um, and then at this time you could see still see uh, but it's like a little bit blurry because you got like still a lot of like they'll still put like drops in your eye droplets in your eyes and then you go to the other table and that's where they'll do the actual laser correction um, and then so again they'll put tape in your eyes put some drops and then you stare at this machine there's like a green blinking light in the middle um, and then uh, let me think so then you see the green blinking light and then like it turns red and then that's when like the uh, the doctor will like I think like uh, will like open the flap and then afterwards the laser will like do its thing on your eyes. Um, so and then so you, you could just, like smell the eyes burn a little bit. I would say it's like um, if you ever had like your wisdom teeth or like your teeth um, I don't know what it's called like grinded down or whatever. It's like that but like much less intense. 
so that didn't really bother me um and then like i guess through both procedures they will have they will like count down to sort of like when the procedure is actually over and that's like pretty uh comforting i guess and then like for my doctor at least he would also like as he goes through the procedure he'll say like oh this is like looking good or like per this is going perfect um so that's very reassuring for me to hear as well um and then afterwards yeah after the laser is done like um it's staying on your eyes um the nurse will, i could hear the nurse counting down like 60 seconds left or something and then like throughout roughly 10 second intervals the doctor will like does something with the eyes i'm not sure exactly sure i could see it I could like kind of see the shadows, but I don't know exactly what's going on. Um, and then yeah, like 10, 60, 50, 40, 30. And then as you get down to like 10 second mark or like five, four, three, two, one, they'll like remove the tape. Uh, and I think throughout that process, they like, they also implanted some, a, um, the uh, contact lenses. Um, and yeah, so by the time they're done all that, they'll get you to like close their eyes for, I don't know, five minutes or something. Um, I guess just to, help with the healing process but then after that like you but actually even before that like if you open the eyes you can see like your vision is like perfect or, or like not perfect but like you can see it's corrected already right so it's like i could basically almost see what i see with my glasses but without my glasses obviously um and yeah so then you just rest your eyes and they'll bring you back to the waiting room you wait a little bit they'll take your blood pressure again um and then brings me to like the check, the eye check room or whatever it's called. And then they'll, the doctor does one final look at your eyes um, with the lights, just to see everything's going well. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, um, yeah, when I'm back on my way home, so you do have to get someone to drive you or uh, the taxi. And that's where I'm at now. So uh, I'm just like putting some drops in my eyes now. And then right afterwards, I'll go to sleep just to let my eyes heal. and. I will have some more check-ins back later today or uh, throughout the week. Quick check-in. So it's still day one or the day of the surgery. Um, it's around 12 o'clock right now. And I had an hour nap. And actually right now I'm feeling pretty good. Everything looks pretty good right now. Obviously I still got these eye shields on. So like my vision is obstructed by like the little holes in there. But other than that, it's like everything looks pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good eyes just maybe sting a little bit from time to time nothing worse than like i don't know getting shampoo in your eyes or like um water from like the swimming pool in your eyes uh other than that doing pretty good just want to give an update to my 12 p.m check-in um so one thing i realized is that i can't look at my phone very close and i had to hold my phone like further away than uh before i uh, i had surgery like when i had glasses and also after looking for the phone for a few minutes, I felt like I felt the need to close my eyes and just like rest it, um, which is sort of like what I'm doing now. But yeah, just an update on how I'm feeling. All right, so it's day two or one day post surgery. Um, so right now I'm just heading to my one day post op appointment. And just to recap a little bit about um, the last 12 hours or so. So one thing coming into the surgery that I was worried about was uh, how much time I had to take off. But um, fortunately, around like five, six hours after the surgery, I was already pretty good to go to go on screens. Like I was already watching um, a movie and then even at night I was watching an NBA game. So I'm uh, fe feeling pretty lucky about that. I was able to get on screens. So uh, even though I took today off work, I'm probably still going to go in for work because I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, what the you know, most annoying thing I found was that... Um, because you can't get water in your eye or you can't really like rub your eyes um you know the grit when you're like waking up and uh you get like the grit and like the the like the eye snot in your eyes so uh, i've been constantly getting that now because like through the, all the eye drops and the sleep i've been getting like throughout the day like i just have the urge to like go like this to my eyes just to cleanse it up but um yeah you can't do that so that's probably the most irritating thing for me now. Um, I don't, my eyes aren't really dry. Uh, they don't feel tight or any pain at all. So feeling very fortunate about that, but it's just the irritation from like not being able to clean your eyes. So uh, I'll give another update after my one day post-op appointment and uh, let you guys know how that goes.
Okay, so just finished my one day post-op surgery check-in. I was in and out within 30 minutes, so that's pretty quick. Um, and they did say I did have 20-20 vision, which is awesome to hear. Obviously, that's like the outcome you're looking for. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I forgot to take the eye drops as frequently as I should because the paper they gave me said one thing and like the bottle and the instructions they gave me says another thing. And I was supposed to follow the bottle slash um, the nurse's instructions, but I was just too reliant on the paper. Um, so maybe, so then I do have to do um, additional check-in, um, not the seven day, but like call it like the three and a half day, four day check-in. So I have to do an, an additional check-in. Not sure if it's because of that, but uh, otherwise the, the doctor said like things were looking good. So uh, I'm probably gonna go back to work today. So it's second day after the surgery and I've got a little bit of itch on my right eye and uh, my vision's still good. The drop seems to help it temporarily, but yeah, I just wanted to provide this uh, update. So it's day three post-surgery, um, so today's Saturday, I got surgery on Wednesday and where I was uh, feeling pain yesterday uh, in my right eye with like some dryness or like targeted dryness, itchiness, uh, I don't feel that at all today. Um, today everything feels great, I see great and maybe it's just some tips for you guys. So like the preservative free eye drops that you gotta take, the 10 milliliter bottles, that takes um, roughly a day and a half to consume for each bottle. So just for a little bit of tip for you guys to help plan your, uh, I guess like shopping beforehand. So it's day four and I uh, got really nothing to, to report that my conditions are still the same. So I'll uh, check back in tomorrow after I got a checkup uh, appointment tomorrow. All right, so just finished my five day check in. They wanted an extra one uh, just for precautions. Um, so I was in and out of the place in 20 minutes, so it was pretty quick. Basically what they do is they take your eye pressure, um, then they get you to read the, the letters. So that's done by the nurse. And then afterwards the doctor will take a look at your eyes with the lights um, and the microscope or whatever it's called. Um, so for me, she said the healing is going well. It's just that the eyes are really dry. Um, so I guess with no complications, that's why it's so quick. Um, but yeah, so then I will have one last check in the when we check in on Wednesday and I'll update you guys then. So for day six and the end of day five, I kind of felt that my eyes were um, really tired by the end of the workday. And I think the main difference was that I was working in the office. So um, I didn't really have a lot of uh, outdoors that I could look at versus when I'm at home. So like I got this nice view here behind me and sometimes like I just get up, walk around a little bit and I get to see outside and I think that probably helps me a little bit. So today I'll be going on my one week checkup and I'll let you guys know how that goes. So just finished my one week post-op uh, check-in. Uh, same checks as usual, my vision's still good, everything's looking good. Uh, only difference is today I got the letter for uh, me allowing to drive again but without the glasses. So all you need to do is just bring that into the uh, automatic, uh, to the uh, registry and then they'll give you a temporary license. So I think that wraps it up and uh, shower wise I have to do one more week of not getting water in the eyes but I think that's about it. So all in all I think the LASIK journey went pretty smooth. Um, you got to do your initial consult and then you come in for the surgery. Um, surgery is relatively quick. My recovery time is relatively quick. Um, the only like troublesome things are like the dry eyes and um, not being able to clean your eyes very thoroughly because you can't uh, rub your eyes or get water in it. Yeah, so continuing on from before, all in all, I would say it's been a very positive experience. Uh, like everything from the customer service to the actual uh, surgery and post-surgery ops. Um, again, perhaps part of it was like due to my prescription and it's like not super severe. I'll, I'll put down my uh, previous prescription below. Um, so yeah, today was this day seven. I got the um, form to change my driver's license, went to the registry and then I got my temporary driver's license. So basically the journey is complete. Um, I do have like a few more like, it's like a three week, four month and a one year checkup, but that's like way further out. Uh, but yeah, like the, but now I get to enjoy living a life without glasses. So uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know down below and I'll be happy to answer them.